Hello everyone, it's John here again from Wild Learning, uh, in my front garden this time, a rather uh, wild and unkempt and tiny front garden. Uh, it's been pointed out to me that the last couple of videos that we did were more suited to children of an older age group. So we've done whittling and we've done fire lighting. You've probably uh, hopefully seen both of those. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about something you can do with younger children, um, although it has to be said that uh, older age groups like doing this as well. And it is making a fairy house for your children's toys. So uh, what we've done is taken some um, finger puppets that I've got for work with uh, much younger children and we've decided to make a tiny little uh, series of animal houses here, but you can make them for fairies, you can make them for your teddy at a slightly uh, bigger house. They, they tend to call it making a teepee for teddy. Um, and the great thing about this is that it, it doesn't take much room. We're just in my, uh, my tiny garden. It, you only need things that you found in the garden. So we've got some, some sticks. This is off cuts from some buddleia that I pruned earlier. And we've just got various bits of twigs that we've used. And yet we've made to make, managed to make a, a frog house, uh, make a traditional teepee, uh, an elephant house, I think that's a rat as well, uh, a, a tiger enclosure, which I called a lion enclosure earlier and got told off by the cameraman. We've got a, a Jurassic Park gateway here. We've got a panda grass hut over there and then we've got the uh, the moose house uh, in the corner uh, by the big hedge and the great thing about this activity is that it's very easy for small children to do uh, they get to practice techniques real den building techniques that they could maybe use uh, when they're older to make uh, full-size dens they get the uh, the experience of being enormously powerful because they can lift what are proportionately huge logs it's fast and most of all it's an imaginative uh, spur to spur to imaginative play so um, you will find that children will start to tell stories immediately about what's going on and possibly start to argue about whether that's the park keeper's house or whether this is a an amusement park or whether it's a mine um, and it is a great way to encourage children to tell stories. Uh, it's one of our most popular activities, where we do it quite a lot. Um, in fact, my cameraman was responsible for making a, a very large uh, one thirty-second scale fairy village in Highgate Wood uh, last year. What was that called, Sam? Bogolopolis. That was called Bogolopolis. So um, unfortunately, I don't have a video of Bogolopolis, but what I do have is a video that uh, I took a couple of years ago at Claremont Landscape Garden when we had 25 children who all worked together all day to make an enormous village and then they showed us around it so I'm going to uh, leave you now and say happy building um, and um, we're going to show you the video of the Claremont Landscape Garden Fairy Village from 2018. We have a campsite, we've made teepees, a fire and two flags and we've also surrounded it with a string fence. Is your Sam, is your road still running between it? Uh, yeah, there's still roads. Uh, there's still roads running between it. Yeah, and we'll do it. And here we have a village. We made some square houses out of bark. And in this one, we actually have people and some insects. A snowman riding a horse. A snowman riding a horse. I no, it's see. No, it's not a horse. It's actually um, uh, supposed to be a caterpillar. Snowman riding a caterpillar. Yeah. That makes much more sense. Yes. With a head. We've got another village over here, which has dirt walls and bark roof. Careful, careful, careful. And a guard spirit yeah. here. Yeah. There's loads of guard, guard people at the front of the houses and um, villages and. Where's Zach? 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 And over here, we come to, this is the mountainous area, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And I built this little village and it is called the mountain village. I used Y sticks and then I just used one across and then just... And there's a, so you've got a fire going here. Yes, I have fire. And uh, what that, what's that? Is that look like a guard crab? I have no idea what that is. It's a strange guard animal. So everybody get together if you're involved in this. Uh, Will, we're going to do a bit about bridges. Will, where are you? Will, 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 Will. Will? There was a peak. Right, a bit about bridges, Will. Um, bridges is simple to build. All you need is three sticks. One on either side of the road. Yes. And the other going across and Onto the so we've got Sam for the roads. Take a bow. 
Will for the bridges. Sophie and Egg for various uh, villages. And Zach for the mountain village. Everybody round of applause please for the village. I think that is the biggest of theirs. Emma in the background, well done. You didn't do me. Did I not do you? No. No, dear.